Welcome back to Writing at Home, where every day is a writing day. I'm Gail Boucher. When we saw you last, you were going to choose a time that you're going to commit to to your writing, and you found your space. Did you find it? Did you get really cozy and comfy so you're all ready to think, that's where I'm going to go every time I write? Or most times. Sometimes you might have to go back through this and go, you know what, too many people today. I'll move to a different spot. But most of the time, you're going to stay in that same spot. Okay, today we need to talk about the next thing, and that is you need a notebook and a pen or a pencil to write with. So these are the three things that you're going to need. Now let me show you some ideas for notebooks. When we talk about notebook, it all it has to do with the resources that you have at your house. Some of us might just have paper. Some of you might have notebooks to choose from. But I'm going to show you first what to do if you just have paper. You can use big sheets of paper and just write on those. You can use big sheets, fold them, and you can staple them and now you have your notebook. If you don't have staples, you can take your paper, fold it, punch a hole right here, and if you have a rubber band, take the rubber band, put it through the hole right here, and then get an old pencil and put it right through that hole, those rubber bands, and what that will do is it will hold the book together. It's kind of like a binding. So this is if you have a rubber band, but you don't have a stapler. What if you just have clips? You can cut your paper, you can put the clips here, and you now have a book yourself that you can write in and add to. Um, one other one I wanna show you, and that is if you have paper, but you don't have a rubber band or a stapler. Take your paper like this, fold it in half, and then in the middle, just tear a little bit off the middle and push and fold it down there. Then if you have some tape, you can put tape right across here. If not, you can just leave it as is because that becomes the binding so that the book stays together. So there's lots of choices that you have. Plain paper, folding, stapling, whatever you choose, or a notebook. I happen to have um, a three, a binder, and some of you have binders like this, or you were giving, given just a notebook, those are perfect too. I'm gonna to end up using this one as we work together. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to through your house, talk to your family, talk, look at what notebooks you might have from school, and I want you to choose your notebook. And I want you to choose a writing utensil. What is it you're gonna write with, a pencil or a pen? The other thing I want you to consider is if you happen to have colored pencils or a few crayons, we're also going to have that with you because we're gonna do a little coloring in your notebook. So get your notebook. If you have your backpack, get your backpack too or just a bag because we are going to end up keeping all of our supplies in this bag so we always know where it is. All right, you got a job to do. You're gonna to go to your house, find your notebook, pen and pencil. If you have a few crayons, you're gonna put them in a bag. And when you're ready, you're gonna come back here and we're gonna start our writing. And thank you for joining me because we're gonna keep going with our writing because every day is a writing day.